I read the news before falling asleep. Nothing. I wake up and read the news. Nothing. I gave up. Raspberry Pi 400 is so close. It's just missing trackpad and screen to make perfect Raspberry Pi laptop. I think I can make it with the best keyboard and the best trackpad. Are you from the future? You already saw the final result on the thumbnail of this video. Lucky you! So I will make the best Raspberry Pi laptop with the best keyboard and the best trackpad without stupid compromises, like size. The best trackpad is easy. Apple Magical Trackpad. This will be the largest trackpad on any laptop ever created on this planet in the Milky Way galaxy. In this universe, the best keyboard will be mechanical keyboard with full size switches. I hesitated a little bit between Boba U40 and Gatoron Yellow. Gatoron Yellow are my favorite for this moment. For the key cups, I will use DSA profile. It is the lowest profile, and I like this retro style. Keyboard size is important. This 75% keyboard is too big, because laptop will be built around this size. In my opinion, the minimal keyboard without too much sacrifice is 60%. Not like this, but like this, with arrow keys. The heart of the keyboard will be this Raspberry Pi 4. I need to have power and reset buttons. But Raspberry Pi does not have any buttons. However, it is possible to solder wires here. This button will wake up laptop if it is sleeping and it will reboot laptop if it is running. Making a laptop is a list of small decisions. Not all of them are great, most of them are horrible. Why I'm not using Raspberry Pi 400? What kind of hinge I can make to hold laptop screen? I should accept my limitations. Or should I? Is it one of them? Uh, 3D modeling time. I just have learned how to make moving parts in Fusion. This binary hinge will have two states, opened and closed. Printing time. Finished. For the web camera, I will use this camera module with microphone from the old laptop. The microphone is soldered to the Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico will work as USB microphone. I will use screen from the broken Dell laptop and I'm using LCD controller board and this step up converter. It can convert 5 volts to 12 volts. Battery for the laptop is complicated. Power banks was looking like a good decision. I also tried to build custom power bank with some success, but I was needed to use super capacitor with Raspberry Pi. And I wasted a lot of time because I was too stubborn to accept the simplest solution to use two power banks. One more amazing decision. For sound, easy solution is to use headphones. Who needs easy solution? With this amplifier board, it will be a thick boy. I can use larger speaker drivers. I'm replacing big button. I need something smaller like this one. 50% done, trackpad and keyboard, done. Uh, let's check if webcam works. Let me try to record some video with microphone. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three. Stop. I don't hear anything and reason is this cable. It's on a table, but it should be inside. I forgot to put this red cable to this amplifier board. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Works. That is good. And if I need to force the power of power banks, I just need to hold for 10 seconds. 
I'm printing one more piece to cover ribbon cable. Trackpad works. Two fingers, scroll works. Let's test power button. Now Raspberry Pi is running, so it will reboot laptop. Done. Waiting for boot. Now I will shut down Raspberry Pi OS. Now Raspberry Pi in sleeping mode as well as screen. Pressing power button. It will wake up Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi will wake up screen. The volume knob. This is the best keyboard on any laptop I ever tried. And the best trackpad. Time to make Zoom call, Teams call. Do you want to sit on a meeting with boring keyboard Instead, interesting keyboard, magical trackpad with the operating system created for the best brains not only in this dimension. Raspberry Pi Foundation, I would love to see your version of Raspberry Pi laptop. Bye!